All right, so today we're getting into this week's best releases. Plus, we're finishing off the week with a huge scheduled Yeezy event in which it looks like they have actually issued an official statement in regards to the merch. But of course, it's Monday. Now, you guys can chill today. It looks like uh, raffle results went out for the Amamania 3s, which... Uh, it looks like those will be kicking off the While You Were Sleeping collection from Nike and I'm on my year now. As far as these threes, we did see results go out over the weekend for the raffle. So congrats to everybody, you know, they took a W. It seems like uh, there was actually a lot of success on this drop right here. Now, for those of you guys that missed out, the official launch will actually be going down tomorrow, which is the 20th. These will be retailing for 250 bucks. So be on the lookout for the release, which happens to be at 11 a.m. Eastern via I'm on my year website they will also be doing some in-store launches so uh good luck to everybody going for those now as far as jordan brand aficionados uh when it comes to this release right here i did see a lot of positive reactions towards this pair i did see some people actually mention that they would be actually passing up on these uh for the black cement threes which are scheduled to be dropping later this year so let me know if you guys are rocking with these now as far as the why you were sleeping collection out of the jordan releases are you rocking with the threes or the fours and when you compare this I'm on my year three to the OG which one do you guys feel like is taking the crown now next up on the 21st we got a couple of new additions to the 1000 line from New Balance which of course we know has been brought back into recirculation uh, since they originally dropped back in the late 90s now as far as these two colorways it looks like the primary colorway happens to be that sea salt New Balance staple um, but I would say as far as the launch of the 1000 while wow, they hit us with the Joe Fresh goods collaboration we've had a few different colorways hit the street so far i would say uh, i haven't really seen anything that's really caught my eye so far so i would say the relaunch of this retro model so far has been kind of mediocre but be on the lookout for both of these pairs dropping on the 21st via new balance for a buck 49 now also on the 21st we got the jordan 4 rm scheduled to drop which i believe we have three different colorways scheduled to release in men's and women's pairs but i just happened to include the black pair which i know is officially dropping via nike now these retail at 150 bucks and as far as the jordan 4 rm we saw this model debut with the nigel sylvester bike air collaborations now in my opinion i feel like they should have just gave this entire silhouette to nigel sylvester but of course you know how it goes with typical corporate executives they probably were waiting to see the results of these first uh nigel sylvester pairs and then now that they saw how excited people were as far as those pairs goes i think the future between jordan and nigel sylvester will definitely be looking very bright but as far as these gr releases i think they'll just do whatever but these will be hitting on the 21st for a retail of 150 bucks so not too bad on the price now on the 22nd while this release has yet to be confirmed it looks like a few different retailers have this day scheduled for the 22nd for the upcoming basement new balance 1906r now as far as this collaboration i talked about these briefly last week definitely on trend with the whole current y2k runner trend the metallic vibes and everything are really nice and i appreciate the fact that new balance is teaming up with the basement which happens to be one of these kind of like fashion community groups um based out of the uk so uh salute to them for that be on the lookout for these pairs which apparently we can look forward to these dropping on the 22nd both of these pairs will be retailing at 175 bucks now adidas finally dropping into the mix here we got the latest edison chen uh collaboration with clot so as far as clot ever since they took their talents from nike over to adidas they've hit us with a few different offerings such as the uh, superstars we also saw a, another pair of these gazelles but as far as this rendition i feel like these joints are cool or whatever retailing at 160 bucks you can look out for these dropping via the confirmed app now as far as these clots right here i mean they're okay i do like the interesting choice of material Materials, but I think uh, so far with these Adidas clock collaborations, they've been just okay or whatever. So be on the lookout for these joints hitting on the 23rd. Now, coming up also on the 23rd, while they have not officially revealed the launch details, it looks like we got the DMV phone posits releasing. So when it comes to this pair right here, it was thought originally that these could potentially be a DMV exclusive. We haven't seen Nike mention anything about a sneakers app drop, but I did see that DTLR will be dropping these on the 23rd so apparently we will have some type of online release so stay tuned for more details 
on the phone posit which Nike stamp DMV put these joints on the map. So be on the lookout for these releasing for a retail of 240 bucks. Now, also coming up on the 23rd, which it looks like Friday's real busy, we have a Kobe release to look out for. So I think the 23rd actually happens to be Kobe's birthday. So Nike has done an incredible job of finding these dates that you know mesh so well with these Kobe releases and just really keeping the history and the lineage going. So as far as these Kobe 9 elites, which dropped with this high top version, Kobe was definitely in his bag dropping these high top joints right here. I'm a huge fan of this pair right here, which I believe the inspiration, if I'm not mistaken, did happen to be boxing shoes with the higher cut or whatever. So I'm a big fan of this pair right here. Now, while I'm not personally looking for these, I just appreciate the fact that he took things into a whole different lane with this higher cut basketball performance model. So Kobe 9 Elite Halo dropping on the 23rd as well, 240 bucks. Now, Nike's trying to keep this one quiet as far as the release and everything goes, but we know these joints are on the way. I think that as far as this pair, I would say a lot of people will probably be holding out on this pair in favor for the low top uh, Kobe 9, which is scheduled to actually be dropping coming up next month in September. And then to finish off the week, we got the Jordan 4 White Thunders, which are going to be hitting the sneakers app, Nike, you name it. These joints are going to be hitting everywhere. They're probably going to be dropping like 100,000 plus pairs of these right here, which will be retailing at 215 dropping Saturday the 24th. Now, as far as this pair right here, originally I thought these joints were cool, but now that I'm seeing all the TikTokers are calling these joints the Panda 4s, I can't just help but think that these just remind me of like a DH Gate special pair of Jordan 4s, but you already know these joints are gonna come and go do what they do, but I think this is gonna be just one of those Jordan 4 colorways that over time will just, you know, eventually be forgotten about. So that's what we got releasing this week. And then of course, uh, finishing up, wrapping up the week, we got a huge scheduled Yeezy listening event, which we got the Vultures Korea listening experience, which is scheduled to be going down this Friday, the 23rd. Now, as far as the listening event we just recently had the salt lake city one which didn't actually have an official stream but uh salute to everybody that was actually live streaming the event online uh vultures 2 is a great project you know it's getting a lot of hate online but i'm definitely rocking with it and if you guys just like don't think about the leaks and everything and just judge it for the project for what it is overall it's definitely a great record and a lot of bangers on that joint right there now as far as the release event we do uh, expect to see merch which they've been teasing via vultures.kr these uh, uh, merch pieces actually did go live uh last week which it is exclusive to just uh, residents of Korea. So they had a couple of different options, including t-shirts, hoodies, and some hats. I wanna say the t-shirts were like retailing around 40 bucks while we saw the hoodies retailing at somewhere around 70 bucks. But as far as the merch, if you guys weren't able to actually grab that, do not panic because Yeezy has actually issued an official statement in regards to the merch. I actually saw this on Donda Times, one of those like Yeezy fan accounts, which I wanna say they actually issued this directly through that fan account so it says notice unauthorized merchandise we are aware of unapproved merchandise being sold for the vultures listening experience in seal on august 23rd 2024 the products available on vultures.kr are not authorized with our brand official merchandise will be available at the event uh just from the Yeezy team right there. So that's it, the official statement. While that merch, you know, is kind of cool. It is not official Yeezy merch. So you can kind of just look at it like, let's say you pull up to a concert and you got bruh just like outside selling his own <laughs> official merch, you know, just printed on Gildan. You could pretty much just look at it like that, which doesn't mean it's not trash. It just means that it's not official Yeezy merch. Now, the cool thing is with this statement, they did mention that official merchandise will be available at the event based off what we saw go down at Salt Lake City. We just pretty Pretty much just saw the same old vultures merch but they did include this new uh groundbreaking t-shirt which you guys already know they upgraded the one to a two so uh it looks like they got the vultures two official merch which i'm expecting to see this and who knows maybe we'll see some other stuff but as far as an online drop things aren't looking too positive on that end right there i did see yay mentioned previously that as far as when it comes to the music and fashion while both of those worlds do coexist he kind of wanted to keep things separately so 
I would imagine that right now they're just focused on getting the music out there to the people and then coming up later we'll probably see a big new Yeezy drop which as of lately we've seen Ye rocking around uh, rocking some new Yeezy merch that fans are definitely excited to uh, check out so so far I'm only anticipating for the merch to just be sold exclusively at the event uh, with a new Yeezy drop coming up later at a later day. So that's all I got for you guys today here on this Monday. Drop your feedback. Let me know if you guys are potentially rocking with any of these pairs. And if not, just let me know if you appreciate any of these joints down below. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, you can help support an independent creator by smashing that like button down below. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow to check in with you guys. In the meantime, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love, appreciate y'all.